I'm Dr. Roger, and today we're looking at differential equations, in particular complex eigenvalues and eigenvectors, where we'll convert the complex eigenvectors into their corresponding real components. The eigenvalues are found by setting the determinant of matrix A minus lambda times identity, where the matrix A is a square matrix, identity is the same size identity matrix and lambda is a constant, and we're saying that determinant equal to zero. So that is one, negative one, five, negative three, minus lambda times one, zero, zero, one, and I'm taking the determinant, which I can write as determinant of one minus lambda, negative one, five, negative three minus lambda, and this is equal to zero. The determinant of a 2 by 2 is the product of the main diagonal minus the product of the off diagonal. So that's 1 minus lambda, negative 3 minus lambda, minus negative plus 5 equals 0. Lambda squared plus 3 lambda minus lambda is plus 2 lambda, minus 3 plus 5 is plus 2 equals 0. And we may recognize that as something we can't factor, so we're going to use the quadratic formula. Lambda equals negative b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac over 2a, where a equals 1, b equals positive 2, c equals positive 2. And up here, lambda equals negative 2 plus or minus root 4 minus 8 is negative 4 over 2. So lambda equals negative 2 over 2 is negative 1, plus or minus, square root of negative 4 is 2i, and 2i over 2 is i. So lambda 1 equals negative 1 minus i, and lambda 2 equals negative 1 plus i. Let's find the eigenvectors to those complex eigenvalues. If I take matrix A minus lambda times the identity, which is this as a matrix instead of a determinant, so 1 minus negative 1 would be 2 plus i, negative 1, 5, negative 3 minus negative 1 would be negative 2, and plus i. This times matrix x, x1 and x2 equals I'm sorry, times vector x equals the zero vector. The first row tells me that 2 plus i, x1 minus x2 equals zero. And if I choose x1 equal 1, then I have 2 plus i minus x2 equals zero. So 2 plus i equals x2. If I'm doing this correctly, the second row is a multiple of the first row. And so I have to make an arbitrary choice. And that gives me my vector, x vector 1, is the vector 1, 2 plus i. Let's find our second eigenvector. So, the same a minus lambda times the identity gives me 1 minus negative 1 is 2. Now it's minus, minus i, negative 1, 5. Negative 3 minus lambda is negative 2 minus i. Times x1, x2 equals the 0 vector. First row gives me 2 minus i, x1 minus x2 equals 0. That's this row times this column equals the first element of my vector on the right. If I choose, again, x1 equals 1, that gives me x2 equals 2 minus i. And my second eigenvector is 1, 2 minus i. And we observe that when our eigenvalues 
are complex conjugate. The corresponding eigenvectors are also complex conjugate. And I know I said at the start that I'd find the corresponding real vector, but that only applies once I actually have a differential equation. So we'll save that for a later video. Come back soon for my next differential equations video. With math, there's always more.